This is a topic that comes up from year to year, and there are very divisive opinions <laughs> on, on either side of this. Let's talk about how much do you pay a college basketball coach, okay? Yes. We're specifically for Wichita State, it's Greg Marshall, the best coach in the history of the program, the winningest coach in the history of the program. And you got to pay <laughs> if you want to play, so to speak. You, you've got... What is this, Louisville? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean it that way. but Not the players. <clears throat> here's the question. Here's the phrasing of the question that I want us to discuss here. Is Greg Marshall underpaid? Is Greg Marshall underpaid? I'm just going to throw that at you. Yep. What do you think? Uh, big answer is absolutely. Wow, you absolutely. said absolutely. Not even a okay. question in my mind. Okay, why um, do you think absolutely? Now, what does he make? His current his current salary averages around three point three million it, per year. Yes. Yeah. And so, th the beginning of the contract, he was making three mi three million in two thousand eighteen. It bumped up to three and a half. Mm -hmm. So he's currently making three point five annually. Nice little raise. Um, yeah. With incentives and bonuses, he can make more per season, okay. um, but that's his baseline salary. And so if you, if you look at it, he's currently in the top 10 for college basketball coaches. Mm -hmm. There are only, it's kind of confusing online because some sites have coaches making other th things on other sites. Um, if, because a lot of that has to do with where the money comes from. Yes, if it yeah. comes from a shoe company or the university or a private well, donors. A private school doesn't um, have to say. Exactly. Vanderbilt doesn't have to say how much they they pay their head coach or, or say like a Wake Forest or something, but a state school, that's right. usually public record. And so for sure we know Coach K, Calipari, Bill Self, mm -hmm. Tom Izzo, and Sean Miller at Arizona make more money. Okay. And all of those coaches but Sean Miller have won a national title. Yeah. The, so, one of those names is not like yeah. the other. So it's a fun when game. you think of that, it makes sense that those coaches make more than Marshall. Coach K should make more than Greg exactly. Marshall. Exactly. Yes, got it. But when it comes to what Greg Marshall brings to Wichita State and to Wichita, he is vastly underpaid in my book. Wow. Okay. Um, and an interesting study that was done after the Shockers went to the Final Four that year in 2013, yeah. the study came back and showed that the Final Four run alone was worth $555 million. Five hundred and media exposure oh for the university. Oh my goodness. So, so if you were paying for the same exposure, you'd have to pay five hundred dollars Right, for okay, all that million? Um, coverage wow. and whatnot. Wow. And so if you think about that, in one year, or even really just one month there, because of Marshall's success, he gave pretty much five or half a billion dollars in free exposure to the university. Okay. And so for how much he has done in this university, everyone in the sports world knows about Wichita State right now. We are on the map. We are on the map. Yep. The name yep. comes it's up the on the bottom they know about every Kansas. day on yeah. ESPN. Yeah. Games are nationally televised. And so that's that's free exposure that, because of his successful basketball team, it's bringing to yeah. the city and the university. Yeah. Wichita is now, in my opinion, Wichita State basketball, Coke Brothers, <laughs> and airplanes. And, Pretty and much, I, I think yeah. that's the ranking, to be and honest BTK with you. BTK is still down. <laughs> okay, thank you. Finally, because it's been beat today for so long. You're right. You're but yeah, right. it's just, yeah. I mean, what he's, what he's done to just build up the morale of the city, okay. and it's now something that people are proud of. Um, I, I think because of the success for the basketball team, Wichita State has grown. Um, they've been a big I think so. push to grow the university. Yeah. And I yeah. really started with the Final Four run. Well, what do you, so is, is, I guess, is that your response then to someone who would say $4 million, $3 million a year on basketball, on a <laughs> game with a ball and a, and a net? Right. Well, you know, why aren't we paying the history professor or, you know, our academic professor? Why aren't we, you know, maybe using that money instead to, to fund scholarships or, you know, to pay down student debt for you know this huge problem, um, is that a valid argument? It's a valid argument. I know that's an argument a lot of people in academia have. Sure. It's yeah. why are we spending so much money on athletics? But it's not about athletics. It's about business. It's about marketing, and mm -hmm. it's really the the best way you can advertise your university and your city and community. Yeah. And so you have to think big picture here. Because of Marshall's success, Wichita State has grown and improved in the national spotlight. And because of that, I'm sure other departments have uh, at least improved, maybe maybe not in the same level, yeah. but 
at least nationally, have more recognition? Well, it, you know, is the, you know, I, I don't, you know, pick a program, is the ancient Spanish history <laughs> department, there probably isn't one of those, but is that department bringing in four million a year for the Right, community? exactly. No, they're not. The, are the Shockers bringing in four million a year? Yes, and more. You know, oh, it's, yeah. it's not Millions close. each year. So you have to invest, you have to, what, what the basketball program brings in, you have to invest back into the program uh, to maintain it. If you don't, and here's the other argument, if you don't pay Greg Marshall three to four million dollars a year, you lose Greg Marshall. Right. He doesn't stay because he's being offered that and probably more where he could go to Alabama like it was you know, uh, last year or, or you know, the, the Ohio State job came open or the Indiana job came open and his name's always being mentioned. Always, yeah. We always hear it because if the Shockers don't compete salary-wise, why wouldn't you go when you can, you can get a big paycheck? So their raises and their, their compensation for Greg Marshall has kept him here, among other things probably too. He's got family here in, in, in school, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, I, I think you got to pay. If and you I want quality, you got to pay for it. If the Shockers have a, another fantastic run in March, which a lot of people are predicting, as I'm predicting, mm -hmm. I think he's due for a new salary. Because in okay. 2013, he got a new salary. Mm -hmm. In 2015, that's when Alabama offered and he got the big bump up to the three million plus, yes. and so he's he's about due for a new one, um, especially Maybe. with the Louisville job potentially coming open again yeah. um, after March. We're gonna have to bump up a little bit, I think. And I, you know, if you earn it, so be it. Right, capitalist society. So, so it's not my go. money. <laughs> if I had the money, I would personally bump Listen, up his salary. Uh, do you pay um, taxes? Because <laughs> that's true. State school. No, no but, but it, it all comes from uh, private donors. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Um, you, you've got to pay for quality, yeah. and, and that's what you get. And also, probably helps, there's a whole other discussion, probably helps too that you don't have to pay your players. So, uh, <laughs> you can pay your coaching staff instead. That's true. Oh, that sounds bad. That's a debate for another day. <laughs> that would be a great debate. <laughs> but but uh, there it is. What do you think about Greg Marshall's uh, salary, his compensation? Uh, you can leave your comments on Shockerland.com and on Facebook and Twitter at Shockerland.